Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. In our today's simulation task, we will simulate extractive distillation column. But before starting this task, I will take you back to our lecture number 13 in which we had computed pure component property data and in that video we had discussed that this information is useful while dealing extractive distillation column. In this case, for the selected solvent, we had checked the density against the existing liquid phase. For example, in our first case study, we had the task to separate acetone water mixture using solvent as 3-methylhexane and based on the densities which have been given by the espenhysis, acetone and 3-methylhexane will leave from the top of the column while water will leave from the bottom of the column. Pure water will be obtained from the first column which we will call it as extractive column while acetone and 3-methylhexane will go to the second column which we labeled as solvent recovery column if you remember in our this video. So if you haven't watched the video please do watch lecture number 13 before starting the lecture number 23. So we will go to espenhysis and we will first add components and add the property package. So we will add these three components acetone, water, 3-M-hexane, 3 3-methyl-hexane three and in property package we will select PRSV and we have discussed the property package selection scheme in lecture number 5 as well. So going to simulation, first thing we need to do is to add two streams over here which we will call it as a feed stream and a solvent stream. Now what is the information given to us? A feed mixture consisting of 50 weight percent acetone and 50 weight percent water is fed to the extractive distillation column at 25 degree centigrade and 1 bar at a flow rate of 100 kg per hour. So we will first enter these values in stream number 1 which we will label as feed. So in 1 feed 25 degree centigrade 1 bar 100 kg per hour mass fraction 0 0.5 and 0 0.54 both water and acetone. It's converged as shown by the green bar. Now regarding the solvent, a solvent consisting of 1 mole percent 3 methyl hexane is fed to the extractive distillation column at 30 degree centigrade 1 bar at a flow rate of 150 kg per hour. So we will click on 2 and we will label it as solvent stream 30 degree centigrade 1 bar 150 kg per hour mole composition as 143 methyl hexane and this has converged as well. Now we will have to add an extractive distillation column in which this feed and solvent will be fed and which is placed over here as liquid liquid extractor. So we will click it and we will place over here. And first task as you know is to do the connections feed top stage inlet bottom stage inlet solvent. We will label it as extractor and overhead light liquid we will label it as top product and bottom obviously it's water as we have discussed in our lecture number 13 that water will be obtained from the bottom of this column and this will be a pure water now we have to check what is the information given to us about the number of stages pure water is obtained from the tower this column has 10 stages with condenser and reboiler pressures as one bar so the number of stages are 10 click next in condenser which is the top stage one bar bottom stage one bar click next and obviously it's top stage and bottom stage pressures so simply click run after entering the values and you see this has converged successfully so going to worksheet and in composition as you see the in water its mole fraction is one it means that this stream is purely water stream and the remaining stream which contains mainly 3-methylhexane because it's solvent stream acetone which is separated from this feed stream and very small quantity of water so after computing this we know that pure water is obtained from this extractor now this top which is the mixture of acetone and 3-methylhexane will be taken to the next column which is the solvent recovery column and this column will be the same column as that of distillation column now clicking on it and first we will label it as solvent recovery column and inlet will be top and we will do the connections q condenser q reboiler bottom is obviously the solvent recovered and for top we have to go back to the problem statement the top product from this column is sent to the second column which is the solvent recovery column 
where further separation takes place. 99 mole percent pure acetone is obtained from top, which is in vapor state, and solvent is recovered from the bottom. This column has 50 stages with feed entering at 25th stage. The condenser and reboiler pressures are 1 bar, and the reflux ratio of this column is 1.2. We have simulated this column several times, so we know that we have two design parameters. Number one is the reflux ratio of this column. And number two is the 99 mole percent pure acetone, the purity of acetone in the top. So going back to Espenhysis, this column has 50 stages with 25th stage as feed stage. Now it's saying that the top product should be in vapor form. So we cannot select total, we cannot select partial, we will select full reflux and we will label it as acetone. After doing it, click next and then regular Hysis reboiler, condenser pressure 1 bar. Reboiler pressure 1 bar. Again, click next. No optional estimates given. Click next. And we have been given that reflux ratio is 1.2. So, after entering this value, click done. And obviously, the degree of freedom is 1 because we haven't given one parameter yet. We will uncheck it. And as you see, degree of freedom has become 1. So, we will go to add spec and column component fraction. In stream, we will select acetone which is the top whose mole fraction is 0.99 of acetone. So once after entering these two values, which is the reflux ratio and component fraction, click run and this column has converged successfully. Now going to worksheet in composition, as you see in the acetone stream, the acetone present is 99% pure. It means we have achieved our required target and in recovered solvent, it's 73.68% solvent while 26.32% acetone as depicted in the normal process that 100% solvent is obviously recovered but it contains some acetone as well. So our next task is to recycle back this solvent so that it can be reutilized. However, our first task is to cool down the solvent because currently the solvent is at 76.01 degree centigrade. So what we will do, we will select cooler and we will cool down its temperature to 30 degree centigrade solvent recovered. Solvent 2, I will label it as Q cool and I will label it as cooler and it's 30 degree centigrade and one bar. Now it's ready to be recycled. However, in our industrial processes, as you know, that there is always a supply of fresh stream along with the recycle stream. So we have to also show it over here as well. So what I will do, simply remove the connections of solvent from here. And what I will do, I will use a mixer over here. And in this mixer, I will add solvent and the fresh stream, which is the fresh solvent. And I will label it as the total solvent, which is a mixture of the solvent and the fresh stream. We have defined the solvent and the fresh stream is 25 degree centigrade, one bar, and I will currently say it as zero kg per hour. And in composition, obviously it will be three methyl hexane on mole basis. So it has converged successfully and the total solvent is placed over here. Now in bottom stage inlet, I will add total solvent and will run it. And as you see, this column has converged successfully as well as this column has converged successfully. So now I will do the recycling process. This recycle tool is placed over here and you can also search it as well. So click it over here, place it, click on recycle. Obviously what you want to recycle, you want to recycle solvent to click it over here, place it and which stream you want to connect, you want to connect it with solvent. So after three iterations, this has converged successfully you can see this is the iteration number three at which it has converged so if you can go to this bar you can see the values as well so that's how you simulate a extractive distillation column in espenhysis you can obviously uh, re-modify this structure as well by clicking on auto position all it's up to you obviously to make it look more attractive similarly if you want to check the effect of fresh stream you can even increase its amount as well that after one kg per hour the recycle has been converged after one iteration and similarly you can vary the amounts as well similarly feed amount and the fresh amount to check the effects on purities as well so that's all from my side for today's simulation please do watch the video like the video share with others 
and subscribe the channel Aspen Tech. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned.